They sound scary. The thought of picking them up, terrifying. Oh, we catch them in the middle, not around the neck. And venomous snakes stoke other fears. It's a real danger for your dog. The western diamondback rattlesnake is toxic, and like coral snakes, water moccasins, and copperheads, common in South Texas. A lot of times where there is the best hunting, quail hunting, dove hunting, is a good snake population. So hunters and other dog owners bring their curious canines to Pecan Hill Kennel, one of several places near Houston where dogs can get snake avoidance training, also known as de-snaking. She's out here for her safety and uh, really protect her. Enter Julian Westlow, known to many as Snake Man. I try to tell him that I am not a snake charmer or anything like that. Instead, he's been de-snaking dogs for 37 years. When the dog gets too close to the rattlesnakes, whose fangs have been milked of their venom and clipped, Westlow administers a shock to its collar. The only thing I do is what it takes to get that dog de snake. Many people also have their dogs vaccinated, and anti-venom, although costly, is available. But prevention is the goal. Snake avoidance is a great idea for our hunting dogs. You never know when a dog's going to shuffle through an area and maybe have not picked up the scent or the rattle, the snake didn't rattle. Um, so it's never 100%, but it's definitely better than not doing anything. They may not like the process, but most dogs learn what it takes. It's worth, absolutely worth it. In order to make it home safe and sound. Jill Craig, Associated Press, Brookshire, Texas.